Good afternoon everyone, Jay here. Just want to showcase my newest uh, custom vehicle. Uh, I found this cheap vehicle at a garage sale that comes in the 12 inch scale normally and I converted it to a 3 and 3 quarter scale. So it went from being a one man vehicle in the 12 inch scale and here it is as a, as a three man vehicle. Uh, I was going to make it a little bit larger for four or five people but I decided just to scale it back a little bit. Um, the idea for my, my regiment of stormtroopers is that they are on the edge of the empire um, in a very hostile part of the uh, galaxy and so they are not anywhere where they can be resupplied or, or reinforced and so everything that they have is just kind of beaten up and worn down just just like you can see here i did add a lot of rust and mud to the bottom and throughout the vehicle as well as a lot of like exposed metal showing that's just worn out and just need bad need of a paint job um i wasn't too happy with this when i went to sleep last night and that it dried but when i woke up I felt it looked a lot better and I'm kind of happy with it and decided not to mess with it anymore. Um, like I said, the, the, the severe weathering is a result of them being, uh, you know, far from, from home. Uh, you can see that each of these little turrets has a harness that keeps them in place. And the driver also can sit in securely into the, the cockpit of the vehicle. Uh, the weathering extends even to the underneath the vehicle into the main cannon you can see the, the rusting down there and I tried to do it a little bit different so it's not uniform at all it's just completely different you can see some of the detail on the inside of the legs right there and that's all scratch built and some of the weathering as well I'm just kind of showcasing the weathering and the some more of the legs I really like the way the inside of the legs turned out it looked really cheap when I found it um, this was a used toy that was just all dirty and full of spider webs and this is what the legs used to look like when I first got it and so the lady actually just gave it to me for like two dollars she was just trying to get rid of some stuff uh, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it but when I saw it I said, man I wonder if I could make that into a three and three quarter scale vehicle there's me kind of working on the, the turrets before I built up the, the cockpit seat and all that there's just some more of the weather and some more of the detail I'm trying to show you showcase the the console right there and then some of the interior bits and pieces that I added and painted up in there um, but yeah this will probably be a really short video I uh, just kind of want to showcase the, the latest custom vehicle that I have uh, real quick I'll do a, a size comparison you got the ATST right there that's a three and three quarter as well and then to the left you have what the vehicle should be in its normal size of the ATRT should be just a one-man vehicle but I've turned this 12 inch one into a into a three-person vehicle like I said, the, the turrets, the turret moves, and the legs still have retained all of their articulation. It's a little stiff. It's got some, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but it, uh, it's a little stiff, but I like it because it keeps the, the vehicle from falling over. It's pretty sturdy. And then finally, here's just a really big, or really far out size comparison of the ATRT, ATST, and the ADAT. And I apologize for calling it by initials. I know some people refer to it as AT, AT, or AT, AT. Um, but it's always going to be the AT, AT to me. But yeah, thank you so much for, for watching the vehicle. And I hope you have a good day. If you have any questions, let me know down below.